Shamar, we were so sad to hear that you lost her back in February. What did she say about this video when you shot this? She, I mean, my mother was just blown away that I was even on TV. Like, she just <laughs> didn't understand. Because when I got the audition for Young and Restless, I didn't tell her. I didn't tell anybody. I told one friend from uh, from my theater arts program in college. I said, look, I got this thing. They were, I think I'm auditioning for the days of the world or <laughs> something, the days of the rest of the I didn't know what the hell I was getting myself into. So I didn't tell anybody because I didn't think it was going to happen. And so then all of a sudden, I was like, Mom, I'm moving to L.A. I'm going to be on TV. And she was like, <laughs> and I was just like, but sorry for the French. But uh, she, but she's, uh, you know, she just, she was like, I don't know. She thought I was going to be a lawyer. She thought I was going to be a lawyer. So was, uh, if I didn't make it in baseball, which was my first dream, she said I ran my mouth so much that I had to be a lawyer. And then for her to see me on TV, it just didn't make sense to her. But it made sense once I started making a little bit of money yeah. and, yeah. you know, bought her a house on the beach. And <laughs> she's like, okay, I, I, I can get used to this right now. Hey, there's always an unconventional But thank you path. for your condolences. That, that was my best friend. My best friend, my partner, crime truly was. And, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's hard to imagine life without her. I'm still adjusting to it, yeah. but um, she, you know, I've cried my tears and I have my moments. But she would she would say, Shema, you better get out there and be be my son and, and, and keep swagging it out. So I'm gonna keep her memory and all our history alive, and and uh, I'm gonna continue to go make her proud. No, God bless you on that, man. We're both big uh, mama's boys, so I feel you on that uh, on many levels right there. Uh, another thing, too... Well, we say it all the time. Remember, your yeah. mother and my mother got in a fight about who could beat each other yeah. up. We talk about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> on the circus show! That's, 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 that's the best that's story ever. I'll never, I'll never forget. <laughs> Those are, that's the best story because we're both big mama's boys, but they're, they're the nicest moms. Ever. <laughs> they're the most nicest moms. But it's so sweet <laughs> that they're both so protected. I love that story. I'm, not, I'm always going to keep telling it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sh Shamar, one thing, man, that uh, well, a lot of people may not know, but I mean, I've known, of course, for a long time, that you hosted Soul Train for, what, a good 10, 11 years, right? Woo! Oh, no, no, no. Shut your mouth. No, no, no. I did that from 98 to 2000. I think it was two or three. I did uh, oh, okay. five seasons. Five, five seasons. seasons. Just yeah. Okay, that's Little a good run, Phil. Oh! <laughs> yeah. What yeah, that's are your a good favorite run, still? memories? Like, what were your favorite acts? Like, give us your number one memory. My my number one, I mean, first of all, to fill the shoes of Don Cornelius, who was the originator. I yeah. mean, I was humbled and scared out of my pants. Like, how do, how do you follow this guy? And uh, But it was just such a, look, I mean, I've been blessed with a lot of things, but pretty feet and a singing voice ain't two of them, all right? <laughs> so, I mean, because if I could sing, it'd be a problem. Justin Timberlake and, and Usher would be kicking cans down the street. But, uh, nah, I got to stay in my lane, trust me. But uh, memories-wise, I mean, it was just so fun because I got to meet, I got to meet from the, the biggest in the business to the newest in the business. Beyonce when she was on Destiny's Child, Jay Z, Mariah Carey, The Temptations, uh, Patti LaBelle, Aretha Franklin. I mean, you know, and I even got to host the award. So I was like a little kid in the candy store. I was in the front row with Smokey Robinson. Wow. Um, but uh, I do remember meeting a, a sweet lady, uh, Miss Alicia Keys. And this was before Swiss Beats, and I tried to shoot my shot. <laughs> and I went to a listening party where she was performing. It's when she was coming out with her first album and that song, Fallen. And uh, before she went, when she arrived, she had her entourage, and she went up to the upstairs place, upstairs kind of patio before she went on stage. So m me and my homie who were with me, I said, he said, go on out there. You got to try. You got to try. So I went up there, and, and I got my courage, and I walked up to her. And I had interviewed her on Soul Train. So we had met uh, on the Soul Train show. So we had met. So I used that as my end. I said, remember me? I, I interviewed <laughs> you on Soul Train. So I basically said, look, I don't know what your man's situation is like, but, you know, whenever you got some free time in L.A., I'd love to take you out for a drink, do a little something. I said something like that, trying my hardest to be cool. And she looked me dead in the eye and she said, Shamar, I respect your flirt game, son. But my man's situation is handled oh, <laughs> and no. walked away. Damn, that's <laughs> I a was drop the mic. Like I was like, you know, all the cool in me was gone. I tried to walk away. My walk was all messed up. My boy's like, what happened? What happened? I was like, I don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I don't want to talk about it. You're like, Shamar. okay, copy that. <laughs> that is incredible. Sit right there, everybody. Story. Much more with Shamar when we return. I don't know how you top that story, but we'll do it with Swap. He knows we're here. Move! 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 This is 20-David to all units. Suspects are on the move. Northbound and a narco tank with a Gatling gun. 
Shamar Moore oh. on the new season of CBS's SWAT. So, Shamar, I, I think I've told you before, my dad's uh, uh, favorite show is Criminal Minds, so he's a big fan of yours. And then when you weren't on anymore, he's like, oh, man. And then when you got on SWAT, it was like he was all fired up again. How's it been um, shooting the new show now, and what can we look forward to this new season? The signature of SWAT is just a thrill ride. It's just, it's a crazy, crazy good time. Action packed. You know, we, we live up live up to our theme song. No, no, no. I na, love na, the theme song. Uh, it's a good one. <laughs> but this year, this you know, we've been blessed, and the fans have been so good to us to get us through, through, get us two, three seasons, and now here we are in season four. This year, I'm really proud of it. I mean, I'm the lead actor on the show. Uh, I'm proud to have gotten to that point in my career, but I'm but I'm humble enough to know that I can't do it alone. Uh, I'm also a producer, and so with everything that's going on right now with COVID, and especially with what happened with George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and, and others with this racial injustice, when when George Floyd was killed, I immediately immediately called a meeting. We sat down for about six hours, and I said, "Look, uh, we're a successful show. People are digging us." We're always going to give him the signature, but I'm not about to be a black man wearing an LAPD SWAT uniform on television and not being, as they say, woke. And uh, obviously, it's a, I don't I don't know if a television show can fix the, fix the injustices. I don't think we can fix the problems, but I think we can shed light and create a conversation and create a debate. So this season, you're going to see you're going to see that signature SWAT action, but. Even in our first episode, we take on um, we take on racial injustice. We talk about George Floyd. It's really powerful. And I just think we just got to keep 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 promoting uh, harmony and get people to talk to each other. You know what's neat, Shamar? Though hearing <clears throat> you say this, uh, I think we're the same age, both fifty. Do you think your younger self would have gone to the mat like this to say, "Hey, these are the stories we need to be telling"? I'm born in the United States. I'm born in Oakland, California, Oaktown, and uh, but I also had. I, you know, I also had a different upbringing. I lived out of the country for the first six years of my life, you know, because my mother thought outside the box and she was very brave and uh, she embraced the adventure. She wanted to learn through different cultures and societies. So, I mean, I lived in Denmark uh, for three years. I lived in Bahrain, which is a Danish speaking country. I lived in Bahrain uh, for three years, an Arabic speaking country. I, I went to uh, Germany, Ghana, London, Pakistan, the Virgin Islands, Greece. So I was exposed to so many different cultures um, thanks to my mother. And so, I do fight uh, to have a message bigger than just entertaining people and a message bigger than just look at me, uh, I'm Hondo. I, I just think uh, with what's going on today, we have, again, it's not a gift, but it's an opportunity and definitely a responsibility to do something bigger than all of us that can reach so many people and try to try to massage a consciousness that, that hopefully can create a little more harmony. Sure. Yeah. And good for you. It's so important to create a, a positive light, too, with the images. So that, that's great to hear, man. Really quick, switching gears for a second. Literally, what's up with you on the racetrack and racing Ferraris? Ferraris flying yeah, around that need track. To speak. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Um, I've always been a, you know, I've always been a car guy. There we go. Boy, boy, that was a weekend right there. Damn. Wow. Um, when I was a kid, my favorite cars was the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am yeah. Yeah. and a Bronco. <laughs> but I didn't know what a Bronco was. I just liked what it looked like. And then fast forward, once I started to make a couple of nickels, I started getting into cars. And so now I've uh, gotten myself to a place, my 50th, my 50th, I got two presents for my 50th birthday, which was a new home. And then I got that Ferrari, but that's not my car. Um, mine is black with yellow accents, but that's the new Ferrari F8. But because I bought my Ferrari, Ferrari uh, gave me a chance to be part of a driving school. It's a class Ooh. where you get taught how to drive yeah. that actual car by professional drivers, professional racers. That, and so I got to spend two days wow. um, out near Palm Springs at a place called Thermal Racing Club and basically went about 135 to 150 miles an hour on a track safely with helmets and instructors and the whole thing. And man, it was it was a thrill. I mean, it was a thrill ride like you never never know. Mario, yeah, I love me. Some I know cars. what I'm getting you for your so birthday. I have that, I have that car in black, and uh, now <laughs> I know what to do with the damn thing. Yeah, but, uh, you can't do it out here because I might be under the jail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's too much traffic out here. <laughs> totally. be too hey man, so great to catch up with you. Yes, always uh, always nice to see you. Congratulations on everything, brother. Congratulations on the hey, show and everything. You. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe out there. Much love, always. Great always, to see you, Shamar. Season four of SWAT premieres tomorrow night. Don't and forget to check it out.